on the last episode of Drakengard. Oh, is he really gonna die? Okay, this just got a hundred times better. <laughs> oh. And now it's back to saving the world. Leo Gal. Let me read its mind. Oh, is it still alive? The goddess, the empire, a fortress. A fortress? Where? Where under heaven? Why didn't we just do this in the first place? A scream? And that's Fury Eye dying. Good game. Oh wait, really? Seal still remains. That is the goddess herself. Are we too late? We must fly to the lands of the Empire and then find the fortress. Did we just not slay this one ogre because he gave us something? I thought we were supposed to kill all of them. I thought that was Kaim's inventive. You can't read a dead person's mind, sir. Okay. From the beast's memories, they learn of a shorter path to the Empire's lands. The land is guarded by Imperial soldiers and huge golems formed of rock. But now that each seal has fallen to the Relentless Empire, Kaim and his small group have no choice but to brave the dangerous path. I actually have not used Eridios yet. I'm afraid to use her until stuff happens. I mean, I have three uses per mission, which I guess makes sense. To reach the Empire's lands, it seems you must pass through this narrow gorge. Where is this narrow gorge? Oh my god. Okay. That's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm just gonna rack up some points with this weapon in particular. I have not seen the cavalrymen in a very long time. That's kind of interesting. I think that's the first health pack I've actually seen, aside from the one in the chest from uh, this entire chapter. That's that's kind of interesting. Thanks, game. The black dragon is not here. I think that's fairly obvious. Else. Probably should have been using my dragon that whole time, but that's okay. An Imperial War Golem. That's all I've read from that. Sorry about it. I was paying too much attention to whatever the heck was going on. Oh, finally, a new change of pace. I, I appreciate death and destruction. Oh great, now they got ranged maged. Wait, who am I killing? I only have to kill one person. Screw this. I uh, well, I'm acknowledging you. Am I going to kill you? No. Ha! I proved you wrong, dragon. Suck it. <laughs> Is this the right way? I feel we have passed this way more than once. Before. It's okay. It's okay. I have a map. Don't worry about it. Don't worry your britches. I know what I'm doing. I've been on this GPS system before. I'm a dragon hunter. Yada yada. Which, I mean, I kind of went the wrong way, The this is the longer way, but are you, are you seriously judging me over that? Well, something's happening in the background, and I don't know if I'm ready for this one. Is there going to be landslides? Alright, well, it's finally coming up. I'm curious to see what the heck this is. It's probably not that much different, it's just a golem. Probably ginormous. Yep! Oh my gosh. I already love it. Is he resistant to man magic? Oh, he's got magic though. Ow. I am already digging this guy. 
I cannot damage him. Okay. I like the- okay, I gotta admit, I love the design of this thing. It's literally a castle with sword arms, and it's got a little fire mouth that is so adorable. I- I don't think I've ever been that impressed with anything. Okay, way out of the ravine lies open. Hurry to the Imperial lands. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm starting to dislike all these men. Okay, out of here. I am done, thank you. We are in their land. This is their country. You are not very smart, Angelus. Like, seriously, I, I could have deduced that from any way, shape, and form. Did not mean for that mouse to get on the screen. Interestingly enough, it's been a while since the mouse came up. I thought I turned it off, but whatever. Fang's Glaive is now level 2. 14 to 28. 4 to 7. Holy crap, I love this already. Alright. Wait a minute. Did I already get through chapter 4? I did. Wait a minute. Really? I didn't even realize that. Man, chapter 3 must have been the longest chapter then. Just one of the longest, most annoying ones, but... I get a freaking cutscene. I'm so pumped. Hey, look, an army, finally. Thankfully, I single-handedly defeated everybody else so they can get here and die. I mean, that's always fun. And at least we're finally getting some actual greenery. Our land is kind of grain barren. Their land is actually green. Wow, they run really poorly. That's not how you run on a battlefield. Okay, that's a little bit better. Why are none of you carrying shields? Shields are... like... Oh my god. What? What in the world? Okay, those things are pretty cool in general, but what are they wearing platforms? The Union has amassed all its forces to confront the Imperial Army in the final battle, but the v Empire's evil factories have built immense one-eyed war monsters. Before them, the Union forces can only turn and flee. Kaim and the Dragon take to the air to destroy the Cyclops and turn to defeat into- or turn defeat into glorious victory. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So we're not going to see any of our troops except for the cutscene pre- okay. Okay, I gotta admit, I'm liking their new enemy design. Oh my gosh! Dude, you know what this reminds me of? I mean, it was probably evident from the start, but this is like Star Fox. Yeah, let's take out all these uh, insignificant fools. I already took out most of his health. Oh crap. He's powering up a super laser. Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, they could, I just... 
Yeah. Gonna have to find another group. Yep. Have to ran fight these random bat things. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's down. I gotta say, they they really pulled it up with this one at least. I I really I'm really enjoying this. Uh, you know what they really they did a good job of. It's a very small detail, but whenever Angelus's wings flap past the sun, the screen flickers because that's legitimately a shadow crossing the sun. That was a cool attention to detail. I I gotta find some good things to talk about in this game. They do a very good job at, at a lot of their parts, so I'll I'll, I'll keep that for them. Ye gods, hear our cries and show mercy to your poor children. I will never show mercy to these fools. They killed my parents. I think. Well, the dragons did. I'm gonna boombox all these guys. I like when they miss, they just fire out into the, the middle of nowhere. I really appreciate that. Or like when I, I turn away from them. I don't know why they had to bound their hands so they, they they couldn't even reach us, but... Wow, I I feel better about this game already from this last predicament. Already the fact that I'm already done with Chapter 4 and I just moved on. You, truly, you should be able to breeze through this game. I, I I fail to notice like where where does Angelus lie with me? Like seriously. Are you on my side? Are you off my side? Are you on my team? Do you actually support me? Are you my friend? These are the questions I ask myself on a daily basis. Alright, time to go in ground combat and inevitably change my fate. There's a lot of men, holy crap. Okay, 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 okay. I do not I do not want to do this. I do not want to, uh... Holy crap! Lord There's a lot. The Empire. Soldiers, advance! We must not let him fight alone! Good. I refuse. Shall be ours. Soldiers, show them the strength of the Union! Ah, I didn't want to fight on the ground. Okay, I did not want to entirely fight on the ground, but... I guess I'll deal with this. Ooh, triple poison. Okay, I am I really do enjoy this one way more. And it only uses one bar unlike the other one. Why is this Seriously, this is the final battle? I s well, I mean, I guess there are m more endings to this game. I hear there's 14 chapters. But I'm I'm pretty sure the game actually just cuts ahead to chapter 14 like like skipping through whatever chapter to chapter 14 like the other ones didn't exist. I think that's a decision by just for well, I, I do know one of the endings to the game, the D ending at the very least. I won't I won't uh, pretend like I don't know, but yeah, it, it is set in the future, which I mean, if they did it that way, that makes perfect sense. Now is the time to topple the empire and avenge our king. Man, this one man is doing this all by himself. I gotta I gotta hand it to him. Again, another cool attention to detail. That's one of the Cyclopses I killed. Died right on the mountain. I like that. The Empire has deployed soldiers impervious to magic. Of Be course. Careful. Well, at least they warned me this time around. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. Bewitched troops have appeared to the southwest. Smash them before they can attack. Come, soldiers. 
Stand by his side! You know, if you're really doing stuff, I would appreciate your words, but uh, alas, you have not done a single thing this entire battle. I'm kind of upset. This is the battle to end all human battles. I pray that it will be so. I don't think we're gonna succeed. I think this game is like Attack on Titan. Just b building up your hopes, and then killing you at the end. That's how it always goes. Couldn't have said that better, man. Except you're not really doing much because you you literally can't. You actually cannot do anything to these guys. They take no damage from you. They take even less damage from you than my spells, which is funny. <clears throat> Man, he's freaking out. Seriously, some of these NPCs, like, have no room to say anything. They're not really even helping in the first place, which I find kind of funny, but at the same time, like, please just help me if you really care. I have nobody helping me right now. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? I lied. I do have somebody helping me. Give me just a minute to activate her. Okay, to the right. Alright, yeah, she's kind of the crazy one, but I like her. It's a sad thing that they keep losing health. Oh man, but by far she's the fastest. Okay, so she basically just keeps swinging. Oh man, she is a cool one. Oh yeah, that's right! Oh yeah, so the magic from these guys, for some reason, the, the helpers, are not affected by these uh, mages, or these anti-magic troops. So really, I can spam her magic all day, but she has two magical beings that are helping her. Here. So I'll use the fire one. He goes by range. And then the ice one attacks, Salamander and Undyne. Now I'm probably not going to be able to use her for anything else, but that was still pretty freaking cool. She's actually very strong. You're doing a very bad job. Very bad job at helping the goddess, sir. Like, seriously, we, we, I've done way more than you have. I at least fought the dragon head on. You didn't even try. <clears throat> I mean, you tried to cast a spell, but... I mean, you knew you were going to fail at that. Oh, wow, I, I didn't even realize that I have already killed over a thousand people. That's kind of interesting, but... I need more. More souls. I have the grouchy voice because my voice is on fire, but that's all good. The commanders have appeared. If they escape, the battle will not end. The kind, stop them. Why are they escaping? This is their land. How? Where can they escape to? This was actually very difficult, I would say. There's a lot of people here. Uh, I had to do it all by myself. There's nobody else helping me right now. Thank you. That's all I had to say. Uh, leave me a card. Uh, if you need any help, just let me know. Um, I'll be over east attacking these commanders who uh, also can't do anything because they're, they're horse people. They're on horses. Okay, well, cool. Oh my. I totally wanted to deal with five bajillion archers, who I hate to death. Which I wish Kaim dodged in the right direction. Oh, there's the chest. I was wondering, I was like, the chest is over here, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Thankfully I saved that. Got it. Okay, cool. 
Thankfully, you didn't have to fight them dudes over there. They are very annoying, more than two of them. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Man, that was a 26-minute duel. I mean, I, I wasn't as mad because they didn't throw nearly as many uh, archers at me. I was able to deal with that one way better. Although it is apparent to me that this chapter is pretty much just to start it. Oh, wow, Gabrielle's Claw. Oh, sorry, Holy Mace. And I finally got that one to that one because that was really easy, actually. Uh, I might as well equip it. I don't think I'm going to use it over this other one because this other one was pretty friggin' good. As the soldiers sense victory, a jubilation sweeps through the, through the Union army. Through his joy is tempered by concern for fury, I kind, too. Or, what? Though his joy is tempered by concern for free, or I blah blah blah, Kaim too takes grim satisfaction in the description of the hated empire. But above them, a cataclysm gathers. Do I get to fight in the sky yet again? I have to talk to. Ah, eh, screw it. I'm only talking to you. Wow, that was a simple but effective cutscene. I like his war cries are What is it? What's going on? Dragon, 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 dragon. Sorry. Unless this is like their super boss. I'm sure the watchers are gonna come in at some point. Oh great, now our soldiers are against us. I think. Oh man. Or are they is this just the end of the battle? Oh cool, they got nuked. Oh cool, we're getting double nukes. Triple nuked. Man, if they could have just done this at the beginning, we would have just... Kaim would have died, this would have been a lot shorter of a game. There's quite six tuple noops, I believe that was six total. Because there was three other in the background that haven't gone off yet. Massive fireballs from the Empire's floating fortress smash onto the once quiet battlefield. The Union's victory and its army are lost, and the land is turned into a hellish wasteland. A power inconceivable has been unleashed. It is an awful po portent that heralds the death of the goddess and the breaking of the seals. Kaim is gripped by a remorseless rage. See, this is the thing. If they had used that at the very beginning, I already, I know I just said this, but we would have been dead immediately. I, originally, I thought they were going to uh, take over our bodies and stuff. It looked like they were killing each other, but... Okay, another time for the most simple cutscenes. How did we survive? It cannot be. Has the last seal been broken? The blood of the goddess has been spilled. Why am I... Kaim? Why? It is the judgment of the gods. It is the judgment of the gods. The goddess dies and mankind is cursed. Why is Kaim such a tool? Only the gods know the truth. If we can find our way to them. I mean, we just fly. We, you are a very skilled dragon, Angelus. I, okay, I feel a lot better, and I will admit this. This time around, I've been playing... I'm not frustrated at all. I've been playing, and I've felt content, and I've been playing for a good hour and a half now, and I feel perfect, because I'm actually getting progress. After the fireballs, or fire falls from the sky, Imperial soldiers rise one by one from the dead, like demons of the underworld. What evil power reanimates the Empire's army? Okay, now they are coming back to life. That's always cool. Am I still fighting on the ground, or can I go up? Oh, I guess not. Okay. If the mere threat of the seal's destruction begets such chaos, what if they are true I mean, we're probably going to be screwed. Empire's remaining forces. Well, I... Okay. 
I should probably be using Angelus for this one, but... I totally... Yeah, I totally should be using Angelus. That, that last mission was good for leveling up weapons and stuff. I think I uh, had that one mission that I hated so much been that mission, it would have been way better. But I guess y you can't win them all. Okay. And then watch as archers are everywhere. Are they spawning? Okay, it looked like they were. I mean, there's a lot more than I thought there was. I mean, we're relentless too. We keep killing all these guys. The spirits of the soldiers are reborn as undead warriors. Cool. That's always fun. Where's the... Wait, what? Is that a glitch? It says there's people here, but there's not. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's awkward. In the horror, I cannot see the future. Well, of course you can't, because you're not... Cool. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Yeah, let's just uh, decide this time around on this flank, we're gonna send all the magic guys after you. Well, at least they're freaking easy. Still, though, the fact that they're easy makes it a little bit annoying. Uh, pretty much we've been nuked. They, they've nuked their own country. They literally did everything they can to kill us. I, that, yeah. I don't know, the cutscene speaks differently. Upon the earth. This is, this is hell. Uh, you could say that. It's not too bad. Gosh. I think we've, we've appro uh, approached this moment with fire and gutso. There's a chest, right? Okay, I gotta keep that in mind. The days when humans fear gods are the days of fairy tales. Uh, cool. Okay. Well, I mean, we kind of got briefed in that these were Imperial warships, not actually, like, divine beings. So, I mean, if you want to believe that, Angelus, you can, but I don't think you're being told the truth. There we what go. Is happening? Lord Kime! Am I really their king? Okay, same old, same old. There we go. Okay. What is that? It's probably an airship, mate. Just take care of it, mate. It's like we always do in the old good old days, mate. Man, I level up a lot these day these days and ages. All right. Well, enough of that stupid accent. Let's go. Onwards to victory for honor. Wow, I I am utterly surprised that I leveled up that weapon so fast. I leveled it up to four faster than I did my actual blade. That's funny. I already like it way better than my blade. It's probably the best weapon I've come across already, so... A burned wasteland lies all about Kaim. While in the flaming sky, monsters of the Empire gather like locusts. Kaim mounts the dragon and flies towards the fortress, where Firi is imprisoned. Is it a floating fortress? Oh wow, that's this is great music. Destroy the eye beast forged by the Empire. Surely it is not the work of man. Uh that thing in the distance? That's a fortress. Oh yeah, that is the fortress. Cool. The hands of man cannot build fortresses in the air. 
What is the cult of the Watchers? They're pretty insane people, I would say. They're able to do all that. Okay, this looks like the last cluster of enemies. Just, just take them all out except for one. Ah, that was easy. Oh, are we gonna get another cutscene? Kind of. Well, we got Inuart coming in. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Upside down fortress. We cannot go higher. Oh, really? Well, I guess you gotta level up then, sir. I'd like to imagine the developers did that as, like, them actually flying and unable to be beat their own game barrier. Which I think is would be kind of cute, but... Alright. I legitimately think I'm gonna have to end it here for now, guys. It's been a bit of a two-hour journey for me, and I've actually been enjoying it a lot more than that last time I did. Those last two episodes were just crazy for me. It took way too long to do those things. But now I feel a lot more comfortable with my uh, playstyle. And I can actually continue on forward with uh, little to no problems, so yeah. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below if you have any tips and tricks for me. And really, uh, let me know if you have any ideas for games that I might be able to play in the future. I don't think I'm going to go to straight to uh, Drakengrad 3, sorry, Drakengard 3 afterwards. Um, so we'll, we will have to see how that goes. Anyways, guys, au revoir, ladies and gentlemen, au revoir.